welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods and uh, we are just uh, discussing uh, here uh, this interpolation. In the interpolation we have already uh, discussed this uh, finite difference operators like uh, Newton's forward difference operator, backward difference operator, central difference operator and after that we have uh, covered off uh, this uh, unequal spaced interpolation like uh, uh, Lagrange interpolation and uh, Newton's divided difference interpolation. So, today we will just uh, discuss about uh, this interpolation based on Hermite's uh, hypothesis that is uh, Hermite's uh, interpolation and uh, then we will just go for some of the examples uh, that will be solved using Hermite's interpolation formula. So, whenever we are just going for this interpolation basically we are just dealing here like if a function f of x is defined at the set of data points like x0, x1 to xn and this function is approximated by a polynomial of degree n suppose since we have like defined points here x0, x1 to xn are the tabular points or the nodal points and corresponding to each of this nebular, tabular points we have a associated functional values like f of x0, x1, f of x1 up to xn, f of xn. Sometimes also we are just expressing this a tabular points expression as in the form of x0, y0, x1, y1 up to xn, yn. Basically the idea is that we, ha we want to approximate this function f of x with a polynomial p of x. Since this function is satisfied at uh, n plus 1 points if you will just see then we can just approximate this function with a polynomial of degree n here. Then if we will just use like Lagrange interpolating polynomial then we are just using both this equally or unequally spaced interval points. Basically if you are just considering here x0, x1, x2 up to xn sometimes maybe it is equally spaced sometimes maybe it is unequally spaced. But for both these cases we can just apply Lagrange's interpolation formula. But here in Hermite's interpolation, so we can just extend this polynomial's degree but at the same number of points. This means in Hermite's interpolation the degree of the polynomial is increased without increasing the number of tabular points here. This means it uses this functional values that is a f of x0, f of x1, f of x2 and this derivative first order derivative at that points also. This means that it uses this functional values f of xi and f dash xi. So, i is varying from 0 to n here. So, definitely if we have here all the points 0, 1, 2 up to n and f of x i is satisfied at n plus 1 points and f dash x i is satisfying at n plus 1 points then we will have 2 n plus 2 points here. And if you will just formulate a polynomial based on this 2 n plus 2 points then it can just generate a polynomial of a degree 2 n plus 1 here. So, let us suppose y of x be a polynomial of a degree suppose 2 n plus 1. Suppose we are just considering here y of x is a polynomial of degree 2 n plus 1. Since the polynomial involves here consists of 2 n plus 2 points here. So, if you will just uh, write this y of x is a polynomial of degree 2 n plus 1 which approximates this function f of x here. y of x is uh, approximating this function f of x at the nodal points like x0, x1 to xn here. Then definitely we can just uh, write this one as y of xi equals to f of xi and y dash of xi this equals to f dash of xi for i equals to 0, 1, 2 up to n here. And if we want to express it in a polynomial form, we can just write this polynomial as y equals to summation i equals to 0 to n 
dyx yi plus summation i equals to 0 to n vix yi dash where uix and vix are polynomials of a degree 2n plus 1 here. Definitely we can just say that where uix and vix are polynomial of degree 2n plus 1. So, if we want to express this as in a complete polynomial sense, this means that we are just using this n plus 1 nodal points to determine a polynomial of order 2n plus 1 here, since we have here n plus 1 po points only. So, then we have to justify that whatever this uh, polynomial we are just generating, it can take the n plus 1 points here, but it can produce a polynomial of a degree to n plus 1 here. That is why we have to consider u i x of polynomial degree to n plus 1 and v i x of polynomial degree to n plus 1 also. So, if we are just uh, writing here y of x i equals to f of x i and y dash of x i equals to f dash of x i and the polynomial is expressed in the form of y of x equals to summation i equals to 0 to n u i x y i plus summation i equals to 0 to n v i x y i dash which represents a polynomial of degree 2 n plus 1. Then since we are just associating this polynomial in a Lagrangian sense, so that is why we can just consider that since usually we are just writing this polynomial y this equals to summation of i equals to 0 to n u i y i plus summation i equals to 0 to n v i x everywhere x is associated here. So, u i x y of x v i x and y i dash x here. So, we can just define u i of x this equals to 1 when x equals to x i or we can just represent this one as u i of x j this equals to 1 for i equals to j and this equals to 0 for i is not equals to j here. And similarly, we can just define v i of x j this equals to 0 for all i and j here. So, similarly, if we want to express also since it is in a Lagrangian mode here and two functions we are just uh, defining here. Similarly, we can just uh, define that u i dash of x i or we can just write this one as u i of or u i dash of x j this equals to 0 for all i and j, but we i dash of x j this can give you like 1 for i equals to j and this equals to 0 for i is not equals to j here. Then we can just combine this uh, Hermite interpolating polynomial in a 2 n plus 1 degree sense that can generate a polynomial which can be represented is Hermite, Hermite interpolating polynomial here. So, definitely if it represents a polynomial of degree n plus 1, then if we want to associate this one with the polynomial of uh, uh, degree n of Lagrangian interpolating polynomial, then we can just represent the polynomials of u i x and uh, v i x as u i x can be written as a i x plus b i into l i x square. Similarly, v i x can be written as c i x plus d i l i square of x here. This means that if we want to associate this Lagrangian polynomial with this variable here or this polynomial u i x and if we want to associate 
this Lagrangian polynomial L i x with this uh, polynomial V i x, then we can just uh, say that if it is multiplied here like L i x into L i x, then this can just generate a polynomial of a degree 2 n there. And if it is multiplied with this function here a i x plus b i, so it can generate a polynomial of a degree 2 n plus 1 there. And similarly, since we are just considering L i x is the Lagrangian coefficient of Lagrangian interpolating polynomial this L i x can be expressed in the form of like a x minus x 0 x minus x 1 to x minus x i minus x i minus 1 into x minus x i plus 1 of 2 x minus x n divided by x i minus x 0 x i minus x 1 of 2 x mi x i minus x n. So, if we will just define this Lagrangian interpolating polynomial where this L i x represents the coefficients of Lagrangian interpolating polynomial here. Using this Lagrangian interpolating polynomial, we can just determine this coefficients a i, b i, c i, d i from these polynomials u i x and v i x here. So, if we will just write this Lagrangian interpolating polynomial here, the Lagrangian interpolating polynomial coefficient l i x can be written in the form of like x minus x 0, x minus x 1 up to x minus x i minus 1, x minus x i plus 1 up to x minus x n divided by x i minus x 0, x i minus x 1 up to x i minus x i minus 1, x i minus x i plus 1 up to x i minus x n here. Obviously, sometimes we are just expressing as I have discussed in the earlier classes that we can just express this one in the product form that can be represented as i equals to 0 to n phi of x divided by x minus x i into phi dash of x i here, where phi of x can be represented in the form of x minus x 0, x minus x 1 to x minus x n here and phi dash of x i especially this is called prime of phi of x. We can just write this one as d phi by d x at x equals to x i here. So, in both these forms it can be expressed uh, since uh, phi of x it can also represented in the form of product of y equals to 0 to n x minus x i also. And some people are also using this one as uh, prime of like uh, product of i equals to 0 to n x minus x i also. So, if you will just uh, express this L i x in uh, different forms here by considering like n plus 1 points that represents a polynomial of a degree n here, then if we will just uh, take this uh, differentiation of this u i dash whatever we have just uh, expressed for this Hermite interpolating polynomial, we can just uh, write u i dash x as since it can be expressed in the form of like uh, u i of x is expressed in the form like a i x plus b i l i x square here. So, if you will just uh, take the derivative with respect to x here in the first coefficient we can just write this one as a i into l i square x plus a i x plus b i 2 l i x into l i dash of x here. So, if you will just uh, take a common of uh, this a i from both these terms here, we can just uh, write this one as a i l i square of x plus a i x into 2 l i x l i dash of x 
plus b i to l i of x l i dash of x here. And if I will just uh, take common here a i since we want to separate or eliminate a i from these equations here. So, if I will just write this one that can be written in the form of like l i square of x plus 2 x l i of x l i dash of x into a i plus b i into 2 l i x l i dash of x here. So, likewise we can also differentiate also v of x and uh, we can just uh, obtain this uh, v i dash of x as since uh, v i x is usually written in the form of like uh, v i x equals to c i x plus uh, d i into l i x square and if you will just take the derivative with respect to x here this can be written in the form of c i into l i square of x plus c i x plus uh, d i into 2 l i x into l i dash of x here. And if you will just uh, take common of c i from both these uh, terms here, so c i into l i square x plus x to l i of x l i dash of x plus 2 l i of x l i dash of x into d i. So, if we will just uh, put here x as x i, then we can just uh, eliminate this c i d i from both these equations and we can get this coefficients that is uh, in the form of uh, either in the form of l i x or in the form of x i there. So, if we will just uh, put this uh, like uh, the values here, this means that uh, using like equations uh, 3a and 3b here, that is as the conditions I have already written u i of uh, x a, this equals to 1 for i equals to j and this equals to 0 for i is not equals to j, where for all i and j we can just say that v i of x a this equals to 0 for all i j here. But we are just uh, saying that u i dash of x a this equals to 0 for all i and j, but we are just saying v i dash of x a this equals to 1 for i equals to j and this equals to 0 for i is not equals to j. If you will just use both these conditions in these two equations here that is u i dash and v i dash then easily we can just eliminate a i x and v i x here. So, now if you will just apply these conditions then we can just find here. So, first condition we can just get as a i of x i plus b i this equals to 1. Second condition we can just get as c i of x i plus d i this equals to 0. Since especially if we are just seeing here in the first term here that is uh, u i x equals to a i x plus b i into l i square here. So, then if you will just put x equals to x i then we will just get l i square of uh, x i this equals to 1. But if you will just put in a like a v i of uh, x i here or x a both the terms we are just getting 0 there. Since we have defined already that u i satisfies this Lagrangian polynomial or i equals to j coefficient only at x equals to x i points. But in the derivative sense if you will just consider then v i will satisfy there. So, that is why we can just uh, find this first coefficients as this form here. And if you will just use this uh, same coefficients 
for the second two equations like uh, 6a and 6b equations here, then we can just uh, obtain this one as 2xi li dash of xi plus 1 ai plus 2 li dash of xi bi this equals to 0. Similarly, we can just get 2 xi li dash of xi plus 1 into ci plus 2 li dash of xi into di this equals to 1 here. Since now we have like uh, uh, 4 equations with uh, uh, 4 unknowns, so easily we can obtain this coefficients here. So, first if you will just uh, try to eliminate a i and b i from these two equations here, then directly if you will just uh, multiply simply, since uh, this is a 2 l i dash of x i is there, if you will just multiply here 2 l i dash x i in this equation and if you will just subtract, then we can obtain the coefficient for a i first. So, if you will just uh, multiply like a i x i into 2 l i dash of x i b i sorry this is a a i x i into multiplied by 2 l i dash of x i plus we can just write b i into 2 l i dash of uh, x i into b i this equals to 2 l i dash of x i here. And uh, this equation it can be written in the form of like a i x i l i dash of x i plus a i plus 2 l i dash of x i b i this equals to 0 here. So, if you will just uh, subtract then uh, this term will cancel it out and uh, this term also here cancel it out. So, that is why we can just obtain a i as subtract means we can just say that minus 2 l i dash of x i here. And if you will just put this a i coefficient in the first equation here, then we can just obtain b i and b i can be written in the form of like 1 plus 2 l i dash of x i into x i here. Similarly, if you will just uh, eliminate this uh, c i and d i from these two equations like uh, these two equations, we can just obtain c i as 1 and uh, d i as minus x i here. So, just a simple multiplication if you will just do then we can just uh, uh, find this coefficients a i and uh, b i and c i and d i from these four equations. So, in a complete form if you will just write this one that it can be represented in the form of y of x equals to summation of i equals to 0 to n 1 minus 2 l i dash of x i x minus x i into l i square of x into y i plus summation of i equals to 0 to n x minus x i into l i square of x here into y i dash. This is the complete formula. Sometimes also you can just remember this coefficients as uh, h i x here, this one is h i dash of x also here. Since uh, l i square x is uh, easy to remember here and uh, both these coefficients first one is multiplied since uh, we want to generate this polynomial of degree 2 n plus 1 here. So, that is why y i can be multiplied there and y i dash can be multiplied here over. And uh, the beauty of uh, this method is that only n plus 1 points are used to get a polynomial of order 2 n plus 1 here. And if we want to find this uh, error terms here, the error terms can be written in the order of uh, 2 n plus 1 here that is 
since this polynomial is involved here uh, the degree of uh, 2 n plus 1 here the error term will be just represented as f to the power 2 n plus 2 zeta by 2 n plus 2 factorial into product of x minus x i square here. Since if you will just see here, so both these polynomials that has been multiplied here, so that is why if you will just consider like the earlier uh, Lagrange interpolation error term, we are just uh, used to write like f to the power n plus 1 zeta by n plus 1 factorial into product of like x minus x i there. So, if l i square of x if we are just considering, so it can be taken as the uh, square sense there and the derivative can be taken as the order of uh, 2 n plus 2 here. So, based on this if you will just go for a problem here that is a uh, suppose if the question is asked like using Hermite interpolation formula find the value of sin of 0 0.5 from the following data. So, we can just uh, write first like uh, L i of uh, x 0 sorry L 1 of uh, L 0 of x 0, L 1 of uh, x 1, L 2 of x 2 then we can just find their derivatives and you can just put in the formula then you can just obtain this uh, uh, interpolation in that problem. So, if this problem is given like uh, sin x data is uh, just given and it is asked to find sin of 0 0.5 here. So, suppose uh, these tabular values are given as x sin x <coughs> cos x here and the values are like uh, minus 1. 0, 1 and uh, like minus 0.8415, this is 0 and uh, 1 value is 0 0.8415 here. Similarly, cos values are like 0 0.5403 and cos 0 is 1 then uh, this value is also 0 0.5403 here. And uh, we have here if you will just see f of x is sin x, f dash x is uh, your cos x here. And uh, if we want to express this one in the formula like here y of x if we want to find, so directly we can just put y of x i or y of x i as f of x i that is sin of x i here and if we want to put y i dash of x i here, so that can be written as cos of x i there. So, first we have to find here like uh, L 0 x we will just find. So, if we want to find here L 0 x first, L 0 x can be written in the form of like x minus x 1, x minus x 2 by x 0 minus x 1, x 0 minus x 2 here. Similarly, L 1 x can be written as x minus x 0, x minus x 2 by x 1 minus x 0, x 1 minus x 2 here. And uh, L 2 x can also be written as x minus x 0, x minus x 1 divided by x 2 minus x 0, x 2 minus x 1 here. So, if you will just put these values here like <coughs> L 0 of uh, x here, it can be written as first value like uh, here 0 it is there. So, x into x minus 1 divided by, so x 0 is there like minus 1 here. So, minus 1 minus 0 then uh, like uh, minus 1 minus 1, so minus 2 it is there. So, definitely this is minus minus, so that is why it will come as 2 here. Similarly, if you will just determine L 1 of x here that can be written as like x minus of minus 1, so x plus 1 into x minus 1 here divided by if you just see here since we have this coefficients like x 0 equals to this one, x 1 equals to this one, x 2 equals to this one here. So, we can just write this one as uh, like uh, minus of x plus 1 by x minus 1 divided by 1 it will just come. So, similarly you can just obtain like L 2 x that is 
x minus x0, so that is why you can just write x plus 1, then x minus 0, this means that x only, so divided by if you just see this will come as 2 here. So, directly we can just put the values there like uh, L0 of uh, 0 0.5 if we will just put here, then we can just obtain this value as uh, minus 0 0.125 and L2 of uh, 0 0.5 if we will just put, we can just get this one as like uh, 0 0.75 and if we will just put this values of uh, 0 0.5 here then we can just obtain this values as a 0 0.375. So, similarly we can just obtain like a L0 dash of x that is a directly if you will just differentiate here since this is the polynomial we are just getting here. So, L0 dash x we can just write as 2 x minus 1 divided by 2 here and uh, L0 dash of 1 if we want to find, so we can sorry minus 1 here. Since uh, we have the points like uh, minus 1 here, we can just uh, obtain that one as a minus 3 by 2 there. So, then again if uh, L1 dash of uh, 0 if we want to find that can be written as uh, 0, then L2 dash of 1 if we will just uh, find that will be represented as a 3 by 2 here. So, finally, if you will just uh, put this uh, values, then we can just uh, get this value as a 0 0.3743 here. Therefore, y of 0 0.5, we can just write it as a 0 0.3743 and the exact value of sin 0 0.5, it can be represented as a 0 0.4794. If the Lagrange's uh, formula can be used, we get sin of 0 0.5 as a 0 0.4207. Uh, but for the higher uh, degree polynomial, it is not necessary to, it can just provide a better result. Thank you for listening this lecture.